Good morning, everyone. How are you doing this morning? It's a beautiful day. The sun is out and we are loving it over here. Uh, my name is Gloria Lamide, as most of you already know. I'm an identity and purpose coach. This morning, I'm talking to us about how to move from doom and gloom to being fulfilled again. Do you feel at the moment that your life is just gloomy, you know, or there's doom, like bad news, you're not quite sure what you're doing? I'm spe specifically um, focusing on women, you know, how to have a more fulfilled life. What must you do to have a more fulfilled life and enjoy every day? Because every day, as you all know, is a gift. No one is sure of the next day. The past has been, you've done that, you've done, you've done, been there, and that's dusted. But all you have is now, the present. So maybe you've woken up this morning, you're not quite sure what you're meant to be doing next, or you know what you're meant to be doing, you're going to work, but not quite fulfilled in that role. You know, so how can you make this shift? How can you make this shift from, you know, being wary when you wake up? like oh not not again another day how can you wake up from that reality how can you change that reality into something that you enjoy doing and actually look forward to each day so that's what i'm here to talk to us about i'm going to be dropping some nuggets for us regularly on how to move from doom and gloom to having a more fulfilled life as a woman do you all know that in psychology as some of you know, I did MSc psychology. There's something called self-fulfilling prophecies, you know. So what are the things you say? We need to be mindful of the things we say, you know. And the things we, we often say comes from our thoughts. So what thoughts do you have on a daily basis? When you wake up, what are the first thoughts that come into your mind? So from now on, you need to be extra careful, more vigilant, you know, being more aware, more conscious of your thoughts upon waking up. Because it's a popular saying in the Bible, as a man thinketh, so is he. As you think, so are you. So your thoughts, when you wake up, if you have negative thoughts, change them quickly. Be conscious of this. I'm giving you some nuggets, ladies. Be conscious of this and say, no, I'm not accepting that. I'm changing my narrative from now on. So what thoughts come into your mind? The way you think determines a lot in life, you know. As a man thinketh, so is he. And one thing I want us to realize is we have the power to change the reality of our lives. You don't have to accept the narrative you've, you've had so far, your past must not determine your present. Your past must not determine your future. So if you, if you have found yourself um, somewhere, maybe you're not very happy with, you know, you're not happy with the way your life has been so far, the power is within you to change that narrative. From now on, moving on, you can say, nope, I'm going to build a better life and a new life for myself. You know, and there's also another saying, life and death is in the power of the tongue. So what are you speaking about yourself every day? You know, you have um, the thoughts. If you speak what goes on in your head and maybe it's negative, you speak it out. And then you find your life going in that way, you know, because you've brought your thoughts into reality. The li life and death is in the power of the tongue. So whatever you want to happen is what you should be speaking. When you have negative thoughts, change them to positive thoughts. And then speak positively about your situation. Speak positively about your children. Speak positively about your husband. Speak positive positively about whatever circumstances, your workplace, you may not be enjoying going to work at the moment or the job that you do but speak positively about your 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 employment speak positively about your country 
you know we need to actually start from we have to have to practice that speak positively about the country you live in most times we're not happy about our country but what are people actually saying about the country about their government that carries a lot of power we need to take our power back we need to take control because every decree that we make has power to change our destiny you know most times we don't realize this every decree whatever we say has the power to change our destiny we want a better life we want a better tomorrow begin to change what you are saying begin to change what you are speaking begin to change your thoughts okay as you all know i work with women i'm an identity and purpose coach are you a woman you find yourself you know lost you're not quite sure what you're meant to be doing you know i have a self rediscovery um session as i have with women i have the identity session i have with women everything really is about identity about finding yourself about knowing who you actually are because um i i discovered people if you don't know who you are how do you know where you're going how do you know what you're meant to be doing that's my purpose my purpose is to help other people find their purpose find their identity so if you find yourself being unfulfilled give me a call contact me on via my facebook page or go to my website www.gloriousglowempowerment.com i have my calendar there book a session with me and we're going to have a fantastic time you know of finding out your purpose everyone has a reason for being on earth everyone has an assignment do you know what your assignment is if you don't know i'm happy to go on this journey of rediscovery this journey of discovering that power that purpose that lies within you i hope you've um, gained something from listening to this to me this morning do have a good day and please do leave some your comments your thoughts on my nuggets that i'm dropping i'll be coming in regularly to drop these nuggets give give a comment give the likes let me know you are listening let me know you are watching i would really appreciate that till i come your way again have an awesome blessed day take care now bye